Hi everybody, I'm Molly Ann Lakin, Rhymes with Bacon. I'm a hit songwriter, a songwriting consultant, marketeer, and I've written themes and songs for over 50 TV shows and movies, including Violet that won an Oscar. I'm an Emmy nominee, and my songs have been recorded by everybody from Placido Domingo to Cher, Tina Turner, Glenn Campbell, Billy Preston, even Yitzi Yaya and the Yo-Yos. I've been in the music business all my adult life, and I've learned a great deal from being in the trenches every single day, and it's my pleasure to pass that information along to you in this video. In addition to marketing my own songs, I have a remarkable track record in helping my clients to market their material. So far, 12 of them are Grammy winners, 16 more are Grammy nominees, and so far, with my help, 7,505 other writers and artists just like you have placed their work in movies and TV shows, on CDs, in video games, commercials, and their tracks are downloaded all over the web. A song has actually three main important essential parts. First is the lyric, then there's the melody, then there's the rhythm. That's three distinct sections. I have thousands of clients who come to me and say they write lyrics only and they're looking for people to write music for their lyrics. Well, I'm going to spend some time today talking to that segment out there because it's really important for you to understand that if you got the words, the melody might be in there somewhere too. So what I suggest you do is take a line from one of your songs. Let's say it's the title line and the first line of your chorus. And say the title of your song is How to Write a Hit Song. So it could be, the rhythm could be, how to write a hit song. Okay, nothing really spectacular, but how to write a hit song. Now, what if you change the rhythm a little bit and made it how to write a hit song? That's a lot more interesting. How to write a hit song. Or you could make it even more interesting by how to, how to write a hit, hit, hit song. And I'm repeating a lot, but when you repeat, it makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more fun to, to um, hear and often to dance to. So let's say your how to write a hit song is now how, 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 how to write a hit, hit, hit song. You've got all that interesting rhythm going and that repetition going. And when you hear the rhythm, then the rhythm suggests the individual notes of the melody. So all of you out there who say, I only write lyrics, and by the way, you should proudly say, I write lyrics instead of I only write lyrics. Try to add interesting rhythm to the words you've already written and see how interesting it sounds. And just as I did now, just say the words in that rhythm pattern and record everything because you never know when the miracle is going to pop up. So will you try that for me?